Ah, the time traveler. She is here to right a wrong a million years in the making. Fortunately for her, yes. Today is a new day. Hmm, the adventurer. She is hot on the trail of her lost companions and unequaled ancient treasure. Moving along, the hillbilly. On this fine night, he searches for his true love, but does desire. You break it, you buy it, just saying. I don't think that bridge has been safety tested with more than two people. Careful, if that bridge breaks, there might be no way back up. And by if, I mean when that bridge breaks. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Oh, 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 I hope you're not here to visit the cave, because we, we, we're closed. A gruesome and horrific accident has occurred, and there's no way we can open. No way. I shudder to even describe to you what has transpired. For the nightmares will forever haunt your every thought. Well, if you insist. When I came in, we had no trinkets to sell in the gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the humanity. I, I, I'll never be the same. Some things you can't unsee. What am I gonna do now? <laughs> I can't lose my job. I need the health insurance. The cave is doomed without huh? gifts. How am I gonna make my fiscal quarter projection? No. There is a way I could reopen, allowing you fine adventurers to partake in the unique experience that only the cave has to offer. I just need three small trinkets to sell. Just three. Let me say that number again. Three. Take this giant novelty-sized key. It's cute, isn't it? Open the employee's back entrance. I'm sure you'll find some treasures worthy of the cave's gift shop. Haste makes waste is a stupid saying. Still, get cracking. <laughs> he is a funny little man, isn't he? I should probably fire him. I think he's dipping into the till.
Well, that's one trinket. A far cry from three trinkets. Ah! Trinket number. Ah! The third glorious trinket. I have to say, you have surprised me. I figured you'd give up after one. Sorry. <laughs> well, that was a close one. It does bode well for our intrepid spelunkers that they navigated that maze of intrigue. I have high hopes for this group, much better than the last. I think they may still be down here. I should probably get them out. Nothing scares away the tourists like a rotting corpse. That sweet smell of cotton candy and roller coaster vomit can mean only one thing. The carnival is in town. And you know what these three would love even more than going to the carnival? Sneaking into the carnival. Oh, come on, there's no shame in it, really. It's a victimless crime, unlike the crime about to be committed by someone who shall remain nameless. But it rhymes with Bill Hilly. There she is, the amazing two-legged lady. You know, the hillbilly carries a torch for her. Ah, if only she would finally notice him. They could marry and live happily ever after with a house full of little Bill Hillies. Ugh. Step right up and have your weight gear. If I'm wrong, you get a ticket. amazing disappearing act ever performed. Pay close attention to the cupcake on the pedestal. By the dark powers invested in me, by the county of Rutherford, and the surrounding unincorporated areas, I pronounce you disappeared. Come back by popular demand, Magnifico the Magnificent will perform an encore of his world-renowned disappearing act. Presto Magnifico! Thank you! Thank you! Please hold your applause! Step right up and have you a new way! 
175. I win again. Hey, that's not possible. I always guess right. This carnival game is now closed. Will we investigate the tampering with our tampering? Please leave. The pink bear hanging in that prize booth looks remarkably like what the amazing two-legged lady desires most. Perhaps the hillbilly can win enough tickets to buy it for her. Then this adorable story can have its happy ending. Take your chance with Lady Luck. Spin the wheel and guess the color. If you're right, you win a ticket. Better luck next time. And the color is... Red. Better luck next time. And the color is... Green. Better luck next time. ticket. It's only three colors. It's practically a guaranteed win. And the color is... Blue. Despite it being statistically impossible, we have a winner. That was our only ticket, so uh, we're closing down for the night. Get out of here. Scram.
In a triumph of love and teamwork, our friends have managed to lie, cheat, and steal their way to five tickets and a pink bear. Now to snatch the prize and profess our undying love for the two-legged lady. Well, this is not a heartening turn of events. Apparently, what the amazing two-legged lady desires most is a man of ordinary strength. The hillbilly came so close to true love, only to have it snatched away by a rival who couldn't lift his own shadow if it went on a diet. I'm not sure taking up smoking is the right cure for a broken heart, but I don't think that is the hillbilly's plan. Is this really the path he wants to go down? Wise Lord Tennyson penned the line, It's better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. He had clearly never met this group. Just because you can pull a lever doesn't mean you should. Our intrepid trio may not give this kind of seismic meddling a second thought, but choices have consequences. I've played host to more truth seekers than any human would care to count, and I know an omen when I see it. <laughs> Trust me, this is ominous. Ominous? Ominous. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ominous. Uh, oh, never mind. Who are you? Was it you that caused that cave-in? I know it was. Now my three mine cars is trapped in these caverns and caves. You'll bring those mine cars back if you know what's good for you. Maybe this dynamite will convince you. I need all three of those mine cars back, you hear? Ha ha ha! I got plenty more dynamite where this came from. How am I supposed to bust through those cave-ins? I need my stuff! Bring me my stuff, I need it! 
Well, you know what they say. It wasn't the prospectors who made all the money. It was the merchants who sold blood pressure medication. Anyway, get out of my mind. Wait, wait, no, bring back my mind cars. Then get out of my mind. Dick Nibbit, Frizzle, 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 Frizzle. Are you still here? You get me those gall darn mind cars. I ain't gonna tell you again. Get me my three mind cars. Okay, I will tell you again. Get me my three mine cars. Cause that cave in. Now you gotta make it good. I've been down here so long, I just want my stuff back. So, the old miner's instincts were right. There is a minecar trap back here. He may have overreacted a bit, but at a certain age, you've got to do something that gets you up in the morning. Even if what gets you up in the morning is a dangerous lack of interpersonal skills and anger management issues. Thought you was gone for good. Time to get down to some serious hoarding.
this feller can build up a powerful hunger down here. I'm gonna roast me up some canaries. Now see here, I still needs me my last minecart, dammit! Special empty mine car. Miner can't have enough empty mine cars. Oh, look at that. Those mine cars meant the world to that old guy. Maybe a reward is in order, hmm? Miner wasn't such a bad guy. He was down here a long time, and that'll take its toll. Obtaining the thing you desire most isn't always as hard as it's made out to be, but it will change you. And that, my friends, is what's hard. Now, what of the adventurer? She and her partners are on the cusp of the greatest archaeological find of her career. But the priceless sarcophagus she seeks may never make it out of that pyramid. And neither may her companions. But at this point in our story, that should surprise no one. You know, it's sad, really, when you think about all the grave robbers who have plundered these ancient marvels of engineering in search of priceless treasures, ruining it for future generations of grave robbing treasure plunderers. Could it be? The others gave up all thought of your return. Only I held out hope. The sarcophagus is near. Soon we shall share in the glory of our discovery. Just between you and me, I don't think share is in her vocabulary. Neither is Ultra Crepidarian. But a lot of people don't know that one. It's not as ubiquitous as Sarcophagus.
Many believe the Ankh is an ancient Egyptian symbol of life. Some archaeologists would kill to find an example in such pristine condition. Oh, not the adventurer, let me assure you. She reserves such extreme measures for a worthier prize.
those spikes definitely weren't there a moment ago. It seems the adventurer's companions have gotten themselves into a tight spot. Fortunately, they have all these pressure plates to jump on. You know when you're stuck in an ancient curse-ridden death trap, it usually helps to jump on everything you can. Also screaming. Screaming helps. The situation becomes ever more perilous for our two entombed friends. Those spikes are getting awfully close. Do you think the adventurer knows? Actually, I think the real question is, does she care? In case you're wondering, that was a rhetorical question. sarcophagus of the Pharaoh Taharka. Ooh, great misfortune is said to fall on those who disturb his slumber. You know, locusts, boils, peanut allergies, that sort of thing. See, it's true what they say. No good deed goes unpunished. The adventurer's partners have helped her reach the treasure she desires most. But all they'll have to show for it is an upcoming case of cranial puncture. In other words, a spike to the head. This might be too gruesome for even me to watch.
aggressive. The adventurer does know how to get out of a tight spot, but the rest of her escape may not be so clean. Splendid! You've liberated the sarcophagus from its ancient vestibule. Give me a moment to disable these blasted spikes. If I pry this here... Hmm. Is it time for a tea break yet? If I pry this here... Who would put all these... Ha! <laughs> uh, no doubt that was entirely accidental. Now the adventurer herself is trapped, and without the sarcophagus, her former collaborator, or her current lucky companions, I fear the situation is hopeless. I wasn't planning on wrapping up her tale so soon, but I may have little choice in the matter. band of three pulled together. I couldn't devise a better team-building exercise myself. There was a bit of collateral damage at the end, but let's call it a win.
No doubt you have realized by now that here in the cave, the rules of time and space are not exactly, well, set in stone, so to speak. <laughs> but for the time traveler, time and space are mere playthings. Tools manipulated to pay back petty slice. So, prepare yourselves for a tale of revenge that spans a million years. And remember, even with the best of intentions, time travel can be unpredictable. And with the worst of intentions, well, I guess we're about to see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I was just trying to scare you. Behold, science! Oh, it's you. I thought we fired you. <laughs> Still sorry about getting passed over for greatest employee of all time? <laughs> I'm sure you saw my commemorative photo on the way in. Don't feel bad. My family has been working here for generations. I take that back. Do feel bad. <laughs> well, personality must not be a big hiring point here. GEOAT committee was unanimous. FYI, that stands for greatest employee of all time. I won, by the way. Ah, prehistory, my formative years.
voting on the GEOAT committee was unanimous. FYI, that's it. Not understand fog work. Now you smell like a stinky old. any of the exhibits.
what is that thing? It's not an exhibit, is it? Nah, can't be. Greatest employee of all time knows every inch of every exhibit we've got. Well, have fun with that, whatever it is. Need invent patent, then patent wheel. And that's that. All of that poor caveman's descendants are dead forever. Well, what's done is done. There's no going back on that decision now. Well, unless someone else screws around with the timeline some more. You know, time machines really take the fun out of trying to teach hard lessons about consequences. Finally, the key out of this chronologically contorted collapse of continuity. All it took was the complete eradication of a family line dating back countless millennia. To be fair to our heroes, I can understand wanting to get out of here. Oof, that dinosaur smell is really bad. the zoo. Observe nature's wondrous and terrible beauty. You aren't getting away this time, beast. This place is a nightmare. I hate zoos. No, I never like zoos. Never. Beast Hunter Podcast, day 541. The Crystal Cave Monster escaped again. She's still hungry, so I'm camped out near her favorite food. When I hear her shriek and roar, the hunt is on. Oh, blast, this worthless gizmo is out of batteries. Hey, who are you? Don't touch those hot dogs. Oh, look. 
look, she's safe after all. Surely there are no limits to the charity and altruism this pair can bring to the world now that they've been reunited. Ah, these three. I had high hopes when they first arrived, but you'd be surprised how useless a clown can be in a high-pressure life-and-death situation. Looks like that battery is all charged up now. Well, whatever else happens down here, our heroes could always consider careers as nature documentarians. It's the base! And I am here without a camera crew to document my trial! Oh, no matter. Valor waits for no woman! All of that for a frankfurter. Well, at least it's kosher.
Hey, anyone know any sea shanties? 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer. Oh, that's more a bar song than a sea shanty. Ooh, I've got one. 99 bottles of rum on the wall, 99 bottles of rum. <laughs> I'm rescued. Rescued? Shut up. After years on this blasted island, <laughs> I can finally leave. Finally leave? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I'm going to go collect my stuff and get my beloved dog Spanky so we can skedaddle. Beloved dog. Shut up. Well, from stuck in a cave to marooned on an island stuck in a cave, Things aren't exactly looking up for our friends now, are they? <laughs> no, they're not. Night takes D5. Only three seats on the boat. boat of yours to the other side of the island, give me a shout, and I'll join you for the big rescue. Big rescue! Shut up. I'm not sure how to break it to that adorable old hermit, but their boat only seats three people. Might I suggest to our three friends that they move the boat across the island very quietly? Quietly! Shut up!
To civilization, I'll be a chess wizard. <laughs> Whooping! I'm rescued. Rescued! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> off this island. <laughs> I think I've got everything I need. Shove off any time. I knew he was going to be trouble. Right here in Island City. Trouble with a capital T, which rhymes with P, which stands for... Hermit. Uh, hmm. Okay, that didn't quite work. But he's still trouble. Trouble with a capital H, which stands for Hermit. <laughs> there. Much better. Ha <laughs> ha! 
back in a flash. Don't be without us. Spanky gets his own seat, so someone will need to swim. I'm no lawyer, but maritime law clearly allows for the abandonment of annoying hermits. And really, the stranding of a lone hermit pales in comparison to what we've seen from these three so far. <laughs> I do wonder if any lessons have been learned this evening. Maybe by you and me, but I fear not by them. Well, we shall see soon enough. Well, you took long enough. I was gonna send out the search party, but they're still looking for the last group. You didn't happen to run into an annoying clown, did you? That doesn't matter. We just got a new shipment of trinkets that should satisfy your every desire. But I can't give them to you without suitable replacements. So, take this giant novelty-sized key, again, and open the employee's back entrance. I'm sure you'll find some treasures worthy of the cave's gift shop.
Splendid! That will look nice on the shelf. Taking the things someone else desires most was a stroke of genius. There you go. That is very nice. After all, possession is nine-tenths of the law. That other one-tenth, Enjoy. After all the hard work, you want to return this? Look, you should really think carefully about returning this. I don't know who else would buy such a, uh, you know... You've outdone yourself on this one. Taking the things someone else desires most was a stroke of genius. There you go. Are you sure you want to return that? I mean, you, you acquired that at great cost to those around you. <laughs> you really I don't know who else would buy such a, uh, you know, pretty... As we look back on the adventure we had this evening, it was not a total loss. Some realize the thing they desire most is also the thing to fear the most. Others could not escape the destructive